when you will scroll on your social media you'll see every single video has captions but making captions in adobe premiere pro is not that easy today i'll show you how you can very easily make animated caption with emojis and clips in adobe premiere pro so without wasting any more time let's get started we'll not use the built-in transcription feature in adobe premiere pro because that is not that much accurate so we'll take help from a third party plugin named brevity so here i am in brevity web page here you can just go to login page and you can make your account and login you can try it for free if you like their feature then you can purchase their paid subscription so i'll just go to sign in and from here first you need to install brevity how you can do that you have to first install gxp installer in order to install gxp installer go here and then just right click open link in new tab it will open a new web page from here you can install gxp installer right you can download it for your mac or windows whatever system you are using once you download it just click install to install gxp installer and then go here and download prevd for adobe premiere pro once you download prevd go here and open the folder and from here you can just right click and open with gxp installer it will open gxp installer and then it will install that plugin or you can simply just click and drag this brevd.gxp file in gxp installer in order to install it before installing make sure your adobe premiere pro and any other adobe program is closed so once you install brevd go to adobe premiere pro and open any project that you want to work on then go to window and then extension and from here brevd first time when you open brevd you see a sign in window just use your credential and then click sign in it will open brevd and here is our dashboard so i want to use this project for demonstration in order to use brevd what you need to do first you have to make in point and out point for the part that you are going to use right so here is my full video i want to just use the full video so go to the end portion if you just press end key on your keyboard it will take you to the end portion and then if you press o then it will make a out point and here is our in point in the beginning now if i go to brevd i can use autocad feature if that video is not trimmed yet suppose here is my face cam video i want to delete the silences and pauses i can use their autocad feature but it is already has been trimmed i will not use autocad i'll just show you how you can use caption feature to make animated caption and how you can use this plugin to add emojis and clips so if i go to caption it will show how many credit is remaining so i have 348 minute remaining that i can choose and then caption style if you click here you can select a style i like this one most so i'm selecting that bg zoom effect don't worry you can change the animation later on if you want and next transcription you can select auto detect language or you can just disable it and select the language manually it supports a lot of languages that you can use also it supports bengali and hindi too so if you want to use bengali hindi gujarati it also supports those language so for this video i am speaking in english so i'll just click auto detect and then if i click create it will create new caption by the way if you want to create caption and if you want to translate those caption you can also use translate to language feature and it will translate the caption from the original language to other language that you select right so i'll not use the translate feature from here i'll just click create it will extract the audio from adobe premiere pro and send it to their server and from their algorithm they will use their transcription feature to transcribe this uh, audio and i have found previous transcription is much accurate than adobe premiere pro built-in transcription and i have found very very minimal wrong word and wrong typos so i just love it for that purpose here you can see it has already made the caption and it is pretty fast i have 
previewed a lot of captioning plugins but this one brevity is very very fast among those so here is the captions and once is done i will suggest you to review the caption no matter how accurate the plugin is it is always better to review your caption before you publish right so after reviewing you can go to the style section and from here you can change the styling right first one is preset here you can also change the animation which was selected in the beginning you can also change it from here i'll just keep it as it is and then position so if i just play it back these are you can see the caption is in the middle position i don't want that i want to place my caption in the bottom section and then i can increase the size a little bit maybe 130 and then you can change the block animation so when i'm playing these are called this is a block animation when the block is going so how will it react you can change it from here you can change the animation or you can also change the intensity and speed again you can add background for the text you can change the font you can change the leading maybe i'll change the leading to 50 and then tracking i'll keep it one you can change the text stroke you can add shadow or you can disable shadow also you can change the active text animation and color so if i select another color from here you can see the active text color will be changed it is red now right so you can also do that i'll just keep it white you can add word background if you want and then highlight text so there is a feature here you can highlight phrases and words you can change the color of those highlighted text you can also change the animation for the section right so that is our styling once you do the changes you can just close it and from this section the next one is highlight so if i click here you can see there is a suggested highlight feature but if you don't want to use the suggest highlight feature you can click any phrase or word and then if you see those words and phrases has been highlighted right you can see the color of those phrases have been changed you can just randomly click the word that you like or if you don't want you can use their ai highlight features to find the highlighted words for yourself so if i go here and then if i click suggest highlights it will recommend us some highlighted words and phrases you can see it is automatically done right it has highlighted some phrases for us also you can just click to deselect the highlights or click to add another word as a highlighted word right so once you're done with the highlighting then you can go to the next section and that one is my favorite section which is uh the suggested emojis and clips using this feature you can automatically add emojis and clips for your video suppose i want to use emojis for the caption if i play it back these are called here i want to use some emojis what i can do i can go here and then if i click suggest emojis it will automatically suggest some emojis for me and if i like that i can download those emojis or i can cancel those emojis right so here you can see it has suggested some emojis for our video if i want i can just click here to download the emoji it will download the emoji here but if i want to download all the emojis and if i want to place those emojis here on my timeline i can simply go here and from here i can click import pending it will download all the emojis and will place the emojis accordingly and i think it will save a lot of time when you edit a lot of shots or reels and the next one is suggest clip similarly it will search and suggest some clips depending on our video and once i like the suggested clips i can download the clips or i can cancel the clips right it has suggested some clips you can see here are the clips right if i want i can just click play to play the clips or i can just click delete to delete the clips or i can click update to update the clips and for the positioning you can use top 
you can use center or you can use fit to screen i'll use full screen and download the clip here and place it here right you can see we have it a camera then place the clips in our timeline so if i want to download all the suggested clips i can do that i will not use whole bunch of clips for this video so i will just delete some clips so if i go here and then click import pending it will download and import all the remaining clips for ourselves right here you can see it has downloaded this four clips so if i play it back pensive especially using also that video is stretched to full screen so i don't need to adjust the positioning or i don't need to resize the video right that is pretty sweet again you can go here and go to if it's control panel you can change the size of your emoji suppose you want to make it a little bit bigger you can just increase the size it will make the emoji a little bit bigger you can also animate those emojis using keyframe if you want so once you add the emojis and clips you can go to the next section which is formatting you can use maybe one line i like single line for my reels and you can increase or decrease the character suppose i want to use maximum 18 characters so it will limit the character to 18 it will not exceed that number so now if i play it back these are called single line for captions step down rings and if you're a photographer and for my caption i like single lines if you like double line you can increase it maybe two or three whatever you want i will just keep it one the next one is text icon if you click here now you can click on any text and you can delete it or write if you want so if i want to write then i can do it from here suppose there are some mistakes or typos on your caption then you have to go to here on this t page select the t and then you can edit the text the next one is remove silence if you want you can use this feature to remove silences from your video i will not use it i will use rather auto cut feature before i come to this page and the last one is free time feature if you want you can use the feature to retime the section a little bit so that is all once you're done you can export the video and upload it on your social media so that's it that is how you can use prevd to make animated caption i really like this plugin for premiere pro if you want to produce a lot of video content and want to add animated caption it will help you to reduce the editing hassle a lot here is their premium plan if you really like their plugin you can test the plugin and then you can purchase it and when you purchase if you use jp101 coupon code you will get 10 percent off so make sure when you purchase use jp101 coupon code i'll put a link in the description below so that you can go to this page and purchase it that is all for today i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up if you know this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing or filmmaking you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome videos just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye